Welcome to the Maverick Morning Skate on Omaha Sports Insider.com. I'm Nick Hanley with AM 590 ESPN Omaha. Joined as always by Tony Boone of the Omaha World Herald as we get ready for the regular season finale for the UNO you know, Mavericks as they get ready to take on Minnesota Duluth. But uh, Tony, first of all, coming off of a weekend against Colorado College, we had mentioned that if you're not going to sweep that series, just don't lose. And that's exactly right. what UNO did with the official tie Saturday, even though they don't get the extra point losing in the three-on-three to Colorado College Saturday. A pretty positive weekend, but then you start looking at the things that happened around them, right. not only in the conference, but also some of the teams that they've played previously and not the number you'd like. No, not in the pairwise for sure. Uh, but what it did do is put you in a good spot in the conference because not only did UNO get a big point on Saturday night out of the tie, which pulled it, put it into a tie for fifth place in the league, but it also allowed you to win the series by getting the win on Friday and the tie on Saturday, which among the teams that they are currently tied with and could potentially be tied with is the only series that someone has won against another one of those teams in the tie. So it could be a big tiebreaker situation for UNO within the conference, but you're right, Nick. They need to do a little bit more um, as far as the national standings go, and this weekend presents another chance to do that. As it's been the theme this year, as we've seen a lot of guys, and usually that third or fourth line really contributing for the Mavericks in, in a lot of the games that they've won, especially Baxter Arena. We saw David Pope on Friday, didn't see him on Saturday, mm-hmm. but you know what? When you look at some of the production, especially with Tristan Keck, in that line this past weekend, Zach Jordan getting in, involved as well. That was something that you really feel good about for UNO if they can make this a further run. Yeah, that was their number four line. And on that Friday night, I think they all finished with three points. Uh, pretty much carried them to the win that night. And, you know, Keck just had an amazing weekend and obviously was awarded uh, by the conference this week for his play. Um, the guy's fast. <laughs> and it's you can't, you can't teach fast, and sometimes you can't stop fast either. And that was kind of the case with Colorado College. They had a tough time keeping up with him. Uh, he went hard at the puck all weekend long, and uh, you're really starting to see him emerge now uh, as a player that can become a, a real goal scorer at this level. We saw a lot of goals between Minnesota Duluth and Omaha the last time they played at Baxter Arena. And it's safe to say both teams have changed a little bit yep. and really on the defensive side. Yeah, for sure. Uh, the first time UNO wasn't playing very well defensively. And so I think that you can almost chalk up most of what Minnesota Duluth did offensively in that series to that. Uh, Minnesota Duluth on the same side has gotten better goaltending here as of late. So I think it'd be hard for UNO to go in there and score a much lower scoring series, I would think, this time around. You know, maybe two or three goals win those games. And uh, obviously it's, it's pretty important for UNO to come out on Friday night and to make a statement that first game out. You know, for the Mavericks, too, and one of the things not talked about as much from this last week and a lot of emotion we knew about senior night going into the weekend and senior night, I should say, on Saturday, but mm-hmm. that entire weekend, but also the passing of a legend in Don Leahy. There was a lot for this team to sort of rally around, but also a lot on this team's mind. Oh, for sure. Um, you know, Don was not only a guy who started hockey and was around the program 20 years ago. He was a guy who is still around the program today, um, still led team prayer. Um, up until like earlier this season, um, the guys on the team this year all knew him. Uh, certainly wanted to play for him on Friday night and as you mentioned, senior night on Saturday. A lot of extra emotion and uh, it seemed like they handled it well and used it to their advantage. You know, those kind of things can become a distraction at times and, and work to uh, your disadvantage, but that didn't seem to be the case for UNO. They seemed to rally around both causes and uh, were able to come out with a big series. So we get to this point of the season, and we sort of anticipated this when we started doing the Maverick Morning Skate, that this weekend against Minnesota mm-hmm. Duluth could be exactly what it is, and it is a huge weekend. At the very least, UNO needs to grab one win, not only to keep their hopes of you know, at least getting to the postseason of the NCAA tournament, probably a little bit on the outside looking in when it comes to hosting the NCHC uh, first round at Baxter Arena, but definitely needing to get one win. This is just a huge weekend. Oh, absolutely. And Minnesota Duluth has been one of the best teams in hockey here for the last few weeks. Uh, I think they have four losses in the second half of the season. They're all by one goal. They're to Minnesota State, St. Cloud State, and Denver. One of them beat them twice, but four losses by four combined points. And, uh, you know, all those four teams are all ranked in the top four in the pairwise right now. So they're really trending well. Uh, Hunter Shepard was the goaltender of the month for the league. Um, we just went through a stretch of 220-some consecutive minutes that he had with three straight shutouts. And it wasn't until after they were way ahead in that second game against uh, Western Michigan that he actually allowed a goal. Um, he's been a big part of their defensive improvement, and uh, it's going to be tough to UNO, for UNO to break through against him this weekend. Home ice has been good for UNO. Not necessarily the case on the road. They'll try to solve that this weekend and try to finish strong, and we'll see where we are 
this time next week. Of course, you can get a full preview of the UNO UMD series at the Omaha World Herald with Tony Boone. Big thanks to Omaha Video for providing our highlights. As always, we'll be back next week and we'll see where we are talking about the Mavericks uh, playing that first round of the NCHC tournament. Uh, a big weekend, though. It's UNO Minnesota Duluth. We appreciate you watching the Maverick Morning Skate on OmahaSportsInsider.com.